What's up ladies and gentlemen, on today's technique tip video we're going to talk about the side lunge and a few twists and turns that you can incorporate to get a little bit more out of the exercise. So first and foremost, the unweighted side lunge, I got the feet together, I'm going to step out to the side uh, quite a bit wider than shoulder width apart and then I'm going to bend the knee on the side that I stepped out with. So I'm going to bend the knee, drop the hips back, try to keep the weight more on the heel and then I'm going to push myself from, I'm going to use that leg to push myself back up. Again, I'm stepping out to the side, drop the hips back, and then step together. So, a couple things to think about. First and foremost, the foot that is staying planted, you've got a couple options here. And do what feels more comfortable to you. Hey, it's your world, I'm just living in it. So, stepping out to the side, you can keep that leg planted just like that, or you have the option, something that I feel more comfortable with, as do a lot of our clients here at the gym, you can also pivot on that heel like so. So to where you're shifting the weight on the uh, heel, bringing the toes up off the ground, that's totally cool too. So that's option one, is to bring the toe up and to kind of like pivot on your heel. That's okay. Option two right here, we can add a little bit of resistance to where we're now stepping out, aiming kind of for the inside of the ankle and then stepping back together. Option three, we do the same thing, hold the weight up here. This is probably the most challenging of the three. Stepping out to the side, bend the knee, back to the center. And on that, two options. You could alternate sides back and forth, or you could do all repetitions on one side, and then all repetitions on the other side. Again, whatever floats your boat. So side lunge, give it a shot. Let us know if you have any questions.